I've had a pretty long history with Dragon Raja. It's an MMO that I tend to come back to every so often due to the frequency of updates and new classes, which coincidentally is why I'm back here right now. The 14th class, yeah, the 14th. There are 14 classes available to play, each with their own distinct weapon types, combat styles, and aesthetic, called the Yasai, was introduced into the game, and the devs reached out to me and offered to sponsor a personal look at the class. And I dumped at the opportunity. I love playing new content and testing out new classes. If you do as well, and you have been putting off playing Dragon Raja for whatever reason, then I urge you to go ahead, click the link in the description and the pinned comment below to come join me. And if you start logging in right now, there are a ton of epic rewards for you to claim. The newest addition to Dragon Raja comes in the form of the Yasai, taking inspiration from Japanese ninjas utilizing a massive folding fan as a main weapon, also combining kunai as a ranged weapon. Oh my god, dude, she... Dude, that looks sick. Hell yeah, dude, hell yeah, that looks great. Wait. Hold on, do the, do the character, do the gen, do different genders have different intros? They do it, that is sick. All right. Oh, damn. So male, female, and the littler female, the girl, all have unique intros to their class. So it actually looks so cool. The, dude, the class looks so good. <laughs> oh my God. The Asai isn't the only interesting class, however. So we have the Blade Master. Oh damn, that is nice. I am a massive fan of Katanas. There's the Reaper. And like, while I'm a fan of Katanas, no, game is complete without the ability to utilize a giant freaking scythe. You have the gunslinger. That is an enormous cannon. Holy damn. The Floramancer. She's kind of cute. All right. The puppeteer. The assassin. All right, the Visioneer. Dude, what an intro. Oh my God. Phantom Sound gonna be activated through a class change. The Soul Dancer. I think this is actually the first class I ever played in Dragon Raja. The Shadow Fencer. Dude, she is beautiful. The Skateboarder. Dude, that's a, that's a class? What? Oh, there's no way. <laughs> Imagine just skating on into a into an encounter and then just smacking someone with your skateboard. <laughs> the fight. Oh, they're in a giant mech. That's sick. The illusionist. Oh, she's cute as well. Damn, there is some there's some great looking classes. And then the Yasai, which I mean, like, let's be honest here is one of the coolest looking classes there. Like, dude, you get to wield a giant freaking fan. Each class provides players with completely unique experiences. If you're not happy with what class you chose when you started the game though, you can choose something entirely different in game for a small cost, opening up endless possibilities for your journey. Honestly, I like when games don't force you into remaining a single class and they allow for you to change at your own pace. Sometimes we get bored, you know? So changing your class is actually very easy. All you gotta do is open the map, go to Castle College, navigate on over to the class trainer. And this is a great way to travel. <laughs> Click change class, and then you have them all available. Blade Master, Gunslinger, Assassin, Soul Dancer, Fighter, Reaper, Puppeteer, Phantom Sound, Skateboarder, Illusionist, Floormancer, Visioneer, Shadow Fencer, and the Yasai. Which looks crazy. It's really that simple. And, dude, 
This game has the best mounts, I swear to God. Dragon Raja is your traditional MMO. You have a large world to explore, lots of monsters to engage instance content in the form of dungeons, PVP, and events. Dude, my abilities look like something out of Naruto. Dude, look at this, look at this field around me. Wait, I have like a, a Kitsune following me. Dude, that is sick. We're just gonna lure everything together and then just AOE them all down. All at once. They're not gonna know what hit them. Look at this, here we go. Dude, this is just absolute chaos. Oh my god, I am an a I, I am a destructive force to be reckoned with. This is level 179. Well, I, gu I guess I, I'm glad I am too. What? <laughs> I'm a rainbow of death! <laughs> oh, that is actually perfect. Fast and furious. All right, that is my kind of event. Although, admittedly, I'm probably going to be very bad at driving in this game. I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm typically not that good at driving in video games. Choose my vehicle. Oh, this one easily? Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's how you... Oh, my... Wait. Oh, no, I... I... Oh, no. This is fair. Oh, I am bad at this. I should not be allowed to drive in this kind of environment. <laughs> oh, <st> <laughs> oh no. So <laughs> I, I can't. Evidently, I would never make it, you know, in like, in like the Grand Prix or as a race car driver or a getaway driver or anything at all <laughs> like that. You know, it's interesting because the new class has a lot of close range abilities, but also a lot of ranged abilities. Like you'll see that I'm very close range to them for half of my fights. And then I flip away and get to a, uh, I get a, I, I have a ranged advantage. I think it's very interesting combining the two styles of gameplay together, combining melee and combining range together. One using a kunai, the other using the fan. And having two combat styles that you can swap between also means that you're constantly utilizing your ability. Like you always have a lot of abilities to use. There's never, there's never a long period of downtime. Dude, look at how good some of these areas look. I know I was in Cambridge during my last video, I think earlier this year. And back then I was surprised at how good the area looked. Coming back here though, man, they've created some beautiful locations. Oh my God. Is this like one of those reverse hair maid cafes there are love chi oh wait hold on hi ladies oh this is one of those establishments oh dude they even they even have like a cheeseburger there they have a cheeseburger sodas they got microphones and hot dogs and wait i can click the microphone oh i need to activate the superstar career oh that is awesome though so i can be i'm gonna get there and like jam the karaoke? Oh, there's a guy here. Hi. You know, while there are numerous beautiful areas out in the world, nothing quite beats your own home, you know? With a, a great view of the city, a nice, very comfortable looking bed. Look at that. That's an awkward way to sleep though. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be very sore. Oh my God, look how beautiful this town is. Dude, what a view. This looks like something right out of an anime. 
You know, like every anime, every slice of life anime, there's that beach episode where the kids all go to the beach and get attacked by an octopi and other weird... <laughs> Yeah, that's what this feels like. I feel like there should be a giant octopus out there somewhere or some like sea urchins or crabs or something. Navigating around the world though can get a little bit boring when done on foot, right? One thing that I appreciate in MMOs is that they always provide you some incredible mounts. Well, almost always. Like take a moment here and look at some of these. Dude, this is a hoverboard. <laughs> you have a hang glide. Okay, I don't even, I don't even know what this is like energy wings dude you get your own throne okay all right a freaking fighter jet oh damn who thinks of this that is all Whoa. what oh my god what they have this awesome car some kind of scaly fade dragon. Oh my God, that is sick. As noted, there are numerous different PVP modes available in game, including, but not limited to the new hide and seek event. Now I know you can relate to this, but no MMO would be complete without a functional fashion end game. Am I right? And boy does Dragon Raja not disappoint. There are numerous outfits available in this game. So, diversified so many interesting selections that just show off your character's great assets that are just so varied in style there's such a a large selection you got you, you have things like like futuristic you have punk gothic you have modern you have urban you have fantasy Everything just looks so unique. This game has what is arguably one of the largest selections of outfits in an MMO period. This is one of the standout aspects of the game. Not just that, but there are some incredible hairstyles available as well that really help accentuate your character's features. Oh my God, they're just, Absolutely stunning. Like these are hairstyles you need. You absolutely need when playing the game. You have necklace options, which are kind of cute. You have earrings. I know this is what's that's what's of uh, major interest to a lot of you, and to me too. I mean, who doesn't like having a neko girl or a, a dog girl or uh, a fox girl or something? their glasses as well. Overall, I've always found Dragon Raja to provide me a lot of content to consume. I never run out of things to do. They're always pushing out new regular content, new classes. They give you a reason to either stick around or come back after a leave of absence. And this time is no different. The Asai is a beautiful class that plays incredibly well. It's unique, fluid, and fast. But then again, I've also enjoyed a lot of the classes that I've tried in game over the course of the last few years. Not all, but you know, most of the classes that I've played. Although that's just purely down to personal preference. If you're interested in trying this game out, once again, I do have a link in the description in the pinned comment below that'll allow for you to immediately download the game. So click it and try Dragon Raja out today.